What's up, guys? We got some more wrestling otaku nonsense to talk about. So apparently, Mr. Otaku here has discovered Chris Chan, and he made a video to tell us what he found out. Now, you know I can't show his video without him getting all strikey on us, but I think I'll just summarize it, because I think I got most of the points he made. So basically, Wrestling Otaku found Gino Samuel, and he started watching the comprehensive documentary. Now, he's only on part 20, so if you've seen that documentary, you know he hasn't seen fucking anything yet. But he does say that people like to compare him to Chris Chan a lot, and that he is nothing like Chris Chan at all, while he awkwardly rants at a camera autistically for way too long. So at this point, he starts describing Chris Chan, who he is, and his life, and he kind of basically attempts to be the world's worst low cow reporter because he rambles and doesn't know fuck all about what he's talking about. But like a lot of people who really don't know what they're talking about and only briefly looked at what happens, he decided the trolls are at fault. It's the trolls who are to blame and that they're wrong to do anything to this poor man. But what really comes across most in this entire rambling rant of his is that he thinks he's so much better than Chris Chan. He really thinks he's so much smarter and that he would never fall for the trolls that Chris Chan did because Chris Chan is just a stupid autistic kid and Otaku isn't like that. Otaku's much better and smarter than Chris Chan. After this, he kind of has a, a little bit of an autism moment about the noise of some lawnmowers there. In fact, he has about two or three autism moments. But uh, he finally ends it up with saying that he fucking likes Liquid Chris. He found Liquid Chris funny, which is a bit of bullshit because he sure as fuck didn't like when someone had a puppet of him trying to pretend to be him but better. So from there, he uploaded a video to his main account talking about what he doesn't like about lol cows and the culture around them, which is kind of an interesting transition from making a video about Chris Chan. So again, not gonna show his video, don't wanna get a strike from old otaku, but you know, let's go through my main takeaways. So first off, he dances around the fact and won't actually admit to it, but he is a cow. And that's the problem he has. He won't say it, but he is a cow. And then he tries to say that anyone can be at a lol cow for some reason. It's just bullies that label you that for no reason at all other than they want to troll you. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting for me personally, is because he talks about how he's recently been hearing the term and how he's been dealing with it personally. Now, I don't know anyone who's been harassing him for the past six months, maybe you guys do, but apparently it is something that he's had to deal with recently. So he really does struggle to define what a lol cow is because he knows that all the definitions will make him look really bad. So he dances around it, but in the end he really just says that calling people a lol cow is just an insult. It's just slander. It's a label you throw on people to just upset them, to troll them. Because clearly he is upset at the realization that he's a fucking lol cow. So of course he has to start talking about what people do to lol cows, but he's not talking about what people do to lol cows. He's talking about what I've done to him. He brings up the criminal harassing the sending the gifts to him, bringing up his grandma, calling him. And in the end, he says, this is not the type of trolling I approve of. You're not allowed to troll like that, that's wrong. You just need to call people bad names on a forum. That's the only trolling you're allowed to do, according to Otaku. So it's basically at this point in the video 
where he stops talking about lol cows in general and starts getting really mad and threatening to people who would possibly troll him. And he starts saying, you know, you're gonna go to jail, it's gonna end, you can't do this, and all this stupid shit that he says every time he gets upset and rants at the trolls. So, it was at this point in the video that I basically checked out. Because he's just ranting about the trolls again, the same way he always does. It's nothing new, he's just really mad that trolls exist in the world and make fun of him for being a big goof. But if you would like to see the video, I'm sure it's still up on his channel because he never deletes anything because he's extremely, extremely narcissistic. So go check out the rest there, you know. There you go, Wrestling Otaku, a little shout out for your channel. Everybody go laugh at him on his own channel. But otherwise, I think Wrestling Otaku has a long, hard road ahead of him as he realizes that he is the low cow. He's exactly like Chris Chan, and people are gonna be watching and laughing at him for a long time, just as they have been for a long time. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.